good morning and welcome to my channel. Um, slightly different mat here today because I'm doing some cutting. Uh, what I've got, I've been inspired by Tracy Fox um, and she'd done some altering some slides and I had this box full of slides. So I'm taking, no it cannot take two different ones, you need to have two the same. So I'll take these two and see they're square, these are, okay some are, I didn't notice this before, some are square and some are um, rectangle. Well, that's interesting. I'm going to take the rectangle ones to start off with. I didn't even notice that. And what you have to do first of all, see that's got a bit of rust on it as well, <laughs> is take ooh, the insides, the negative off. So I just cut round with my craft knife or like a oops come off there like a um, Stanley type knife and then I do have to go round and trim pieces up. Okay, there we go. These have actually got dates on as well. August 63, September 75, September 75, September 75. Now I'm going to put them together like this. Um, I don't think it really matters there. So they'll go together like that. Now I like the rusty bits on this, so I will keep them in. Um, so first of all, what I've got is these uh, beads that I've printed onto acetate. Oops. Now these were a freebie from Artie Mays. So if I take this. Um, and actually what I will do is I need to, I can cut in line with that and that and then cut sort of there. So I just need to cut to here. So you can download these from her Kofi shop. And then what I'm going to do is just put this into here. Where should I put it now? Do you know? I'm going to put it in the rusty one. That's about right, so I just need to trim off the side here to make sure. Okay, so what I do to start off with is I'm just going to put a slim piece of glue, not right to the edge, like this. Because you don't want it squidging into the transparency. That's a good word, isn't it? Squidging. Like that. And then along here, I'm putting some more glue so that I can glue the other one on top. I will put a bit on the transparency as well. 
Oops. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm not sure when this is coming out. I'm actually filming it in August, but it takes me a while to film anything. Um, and now I just need some clips. I've got some clips, yes. Um, one more. So I'm just going to clip these down just to make sure they hold like that. And then these need to dry. There. So the next bit is I've got some um, flowers, dried flowers that I've laminated, if you can see there. Um, so I'm just going to choose one of these, so something like that. Not keen on that. Is that or hmm, just taking that bit there? But I could do some, see these bigger ones. I'm going to make some tags. I think I'm going to take this bit here. It does go over a bit. Um, If I cut down there and there, it's quite difficult, but like with the acetate, is seeing where you've actually marked it. <laughs> I think that's there. So yes, I am filming this in August. It would help if I had some pencil on there, wouldn't it? And now I've run out. Do you know what I've got? I've got one of these. I don't know why I didn't use this in the first place. There. That's better. So yes, I've got filming this, as I said, how many times? Four times now? I'm filming this in August. <laughs> and it is so warm so very warm okay so i need to cut a bit off the bottom just need to trim this up You never get the right clips when you need them. <laughs> so I'm going to have to let these dry a bit. Okay, these have all dried nicely. And I'm just going to use some stamps to stamp around the edge. And what I've got is this date for going on the bottom. Like this. Oops. And this one. Like that. So as I've said probably four or five times, it's I'm filming this in August, which probably won't come out till September. But in a couple of weeks, oh yes, and like that. We are off to uh, on a road trip. We're off to Portugal to visit a friend, so we're driving down. The journey is about eight hours. He's the other side of um, uh, the Algarve. So he is, um, I've also got a number that I'm going to put down the side here. He's um, in Lagos. So we're off to stay there for a while, for a few days. And then driving back, we're hoping to stop off in Granada and um, maybe Seville. We're not sure. There is also Hueva on the border. 
which is where a lot of the Iberian ham comes from. And we do love the Iberian ham. It is gorgeous, the cured hams. Definitely well worth a trip there, I think. So we're just taking our time, seeing how it goes. I'm really, really looking forward to that. We haven't done any DIY lately, so because um, of the weather. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is put a hole, oops, oops, there, using the larger hole. Um, like there. It is quite difficult, but it does go through. And then I've got this brad, brad, no, violet, there. Jumping through there. Like that, like so. And then what I've got on a bulb pin is a bee. Um, I can never get these round the right way. Is that right? Oh dear. How does that? <laughs> There, that's it. So that's this one with my little bee on there, and that's all I'm doing um, on that one. And then this one, I've decided to decorate up a bit, and I've got a bit of lace that I'm going to put along the bottom here. I'm just going to cut that off. Um, Oh, I forgot to put the glue upside down, but I've also got um, a flower here. Um, I think these were Pink Monarch. Can't remember exactly. Um, again, it's from when I first started doing all this, and I didn't label everything and lost track of what was what where. Oh, I know what I haven't done. So this I'm going to put along the bottom there. What else I haven't done is inked. So I've been ink, ink round the edges like this and I will do this side as well. I think what I might do with this one is when I come to use it is actually clip the bulb pin into some lace on a page. So it hangs down, the whole thing hangs down, I'll see. So before I do that, I need to do this as well. So yes, because of the weather, we've done no DIY since the middle of July. And um, as it's so exhausting here with the weather, um, obviously, as I say, when this comes out, probably in September, you won't, it won't be so warm, I hope. <laughs> um, so we're both really looking forward to this road trip. Don't know how long we're going to be away or how we're doing it, but we are both so looking forward to the break and doing something different. Instead of DIY, we're getting back to the DIY, which we will do when we're back. Right, I'm just putting a thin bit of glue here. Put that on there. And then glue over this. And then sticking this down on there. Like that. Oh yeah, I like that. Um, then again, I'm getting some stamps and I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put this one up here, like that. Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. 
And then I think I've got this. Yeah. Which I will put about there. Like that. This one I might just put into a pocket or what I might um, use. Don't know yet, or I might punch a hole at the top, something like that. I don't know yet. So that's the one with the acetate and that's the one with the laminated dried flowers. Now you have these pieces left. So what I'm planning with these, um, Tracy Fox used them on her slides as a base and sort of did decoration but didn't put anything in the middle here. Hmm. It's a castle. Hmm. But I'm going to make some clusters. And what I've got is some of my printed material I thought could go on there. And then I have some further lace. Just cut a piece of that off and put down the side like that. And I've not done the glue again. <laughs> And then what I've got is this is from the Digital Collage Club and it's a whole sheet of birds and as you can see and, but what I've done is I've printed four to a page to make them smaller and I cut out these two but I think he's just just a little bit too big. I'm going to go even though he's a bit longer he seems a bit I don't know, I prefer him to the peacock. I thought I'd prefer the peacock. Then I've got some Tracy labels here, and I just want a small one. Um, it can go there. Or do I go? Oops. Oh, quite, oh, that's upside down. <laughs> Not like that. A red one there. Um, I haven't really got any smaller ones. Really small ones. Oh, oh they're the brown ones anyway. That's a little bit smaller. I actually think I like the red one. It stands out a bit more. These are the fabric swatch labels. The red one came from um, what the botanical field notes. I think I'll use this one. Just ink around the edge. Like that, and then I'll be gluing them all down. There. Oops. So I've done two slides that I've used and then I've made clusters or a cluster for now. I will carry on and make these up into clusters as well on here. I might just even just put some, do some that way and just put some material on and maybe just a bigger label, something like that. So they're quite simple easy to do if you have these old slides and as I've got a box full of them cost me two euros from the auction house um, and I do love the wooden box as well so when I've used them all up eventually don't know how long that would take me <laughs> anyway I hope you've enjoyed that thanks very much for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already. It would be great if you could come along with me. And I do appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks very much. Bye.